Hello, and welcome to my dirty desk. So it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these 40k model building videos, mostly because models are expensive, and I don't have the extra cash to spend on a whim like I used to. I've also made a promise to myself that I would put a dent in my pile of shame before even considering buying anything new. But as I was looking at what I've done and what I still needed to do, I realized I don't actually have a proper painted army. I mean, it's not like I haven't been assembling and painting models, but my hobby projects have always been small. A squad, a character, or a vehicle that has caught my eye. I finish that, sometimes, and then I move on to the next one. Usually of an entirely different faction or even game, and I'd like to change that. I want to build a 2,000 point army for Warhammer 40,000. Not all at once, of course. I unfortunately have other projects going on that take priority. Therefore, videos of me building up this army will not be on a consistent schedule. This will be something that's built over time. I guess like how most normal people in this hobby do it. But not only that, I want to push myself as a hobbyist. As you may have noticed in my other videos, I am by no means an expert. I'm just a guy who likes building weird stuff and painting them. So I want to improve my painting, kit bashing, and uh, using green stuff skills. Thus, I don't just want an army. I want to make an OC do not steal sub-faction of the army I choose. And I picked the Imperial Guard for two reasons. One, I like the idea behind them. As I have stated in a previous video, the ordinary man and facing extraordinary foes is my fetish, and that describes the guard to a T. Two, I have a lot of guard units half finished or sitting in my pile of shame, so I'll have a lot to work on, and I won't have to buy anything new for a while. Next, I had to figure out a good color scheme for the troops, and a way to make them stand out from other regiments. I went through a lot of test schemes. I, I tried black, blue, and silver, which was okay, but I wasn't exactly feeling it, for lack of a better term. Then I tried camo with more unique colors. I, I was experimenting, or I don't judge me. But to make a long story short, and to skip any other cringy jokes I may try to make, not to mention the fact that you can see what I went with because of the thumbnail, I chose America as a reference, specifically the Stars and Stripes. While looking for references for another project, I saw a picture of Iron Patriot on Google search, then other types of American flag apparel, and something just clicked in my brain. Like the idea of having a regiment full of Captain Americas, or just the vaguer concept of Americana. It gave me actual ideas for various units like the Navy Breachers, given some NASA aesthetics. The Rough Riders, like, well, Rough Riders. Give the Commissars and Officers, uh, the, I don't know, the Cowboy Hats? Have the Ogrens be more like a Paul Bunyan. Okay, maybe not that, but hopefully you get what I'm going for here. One thing I should think about, but haven't gone to yet is the actual lore of this regiment, as I can't just have America in space. Well, technically I can, but that would be both lazy and not really fit well with the setting. I'd rather take the Americana aesthetics and find a way to make the regiment fit the overall tone and themes of the 40k universe at large. But that can be figured out down the line as I slowly build up the army. It's not like anything set in stone yet but I have made a sort of test scheme for the generic soldiers. I first scraped off the Aquila and put a white star on it, just because I wanted to try to paint the visual I had in my head. I used the Army Painter's Gray Primer as a uh, primer, then Elven Armor Metallic Paint on the uh, Flak Armor, then plain old matte white on the clothes, and pure red for the stripes. Uh, I used the elven armor also on his Laz rifle with a bit of gemstone. Afterwards, I put on a light tone wash. Now, I didn't do any edge highlighting, 
proper shading or anything like that simply because this was a test scheme. I just wanted to see how everything looks and if it looked okay. I'll be the first to admit that I often have trouble judging my own work as I tend to think of anything I create as of subpar quality, but I do think the motto ain't too shabby if you ignore all the things I could do to make it better. <laughs> It's a little ridiculous and over the top, but that was kind of the point. Now, let me ask you, dear viewer, what do you think? Is this half-baked idea of mine any good or just unbelievably cringe? Got any ideas of your own of what kind of regiment I should make? Or maybe just let me know about your own homebrew regiments, space marine chapters, craft worlds, what have you. Tell me all about them in the comments below as well as the usual YouTube stuff of giving me a thumbs up if you liked the video or a thumbs down if you didn't. But if you did like it, then please subscribe to see more hazardous building.